Built in 1931 for the 186th Artillery of the New York Reserve, the armory was decommissioned in 2010 and through intervention by State Senator William Larkin, was offered to the city of Newburgh, with one of the permitted uses being that the facility be used to create recreational opportunities for the residents of the city. At the time of the state offer, the city of Newburgh did not have the resources to renovate, maintain, and operate the facility. Newburgh Armory Unity Center was formed with the leadership of renowned Newburgh philanthropist William Kaplan, who called on the heads of a number of concerned organizations in the area with the goal of making the armory available for all. I grew up playing soccer my whole life. Most of my family has played soccer and most of my family has come close to becoming professionals. And they haven't, but I want to be the first one to do that in my family. There's a lot of good things about the armory. The fact that they have not just soccer, but a lot of sports in there, like basketball. You could go and do, learn how to play chess. They provide a lot of things for young kids to start learning. I was invited to play in a team with a kid named Adrian, who's a part of the Armory too, on President's Day, and we ended up winning the tournament with no goals conceded. I've competed in four tournaments, and I won three out of the four. Um, one was in New Year's, two of them were in New Year's, and the other one was President's Day and one was in Thanksgiving. Yeah, my cousin goes to the armory with my little cousin too. They go, one plays chess and the other one goes in the computer center and they spend like two to three hours in the armory day, every Saturday. I got involved in the armory seven and a half years ago. Early September of 2010, there was supposed to be a meeting at the armory, that's what they called it, and it was regarding um, programs and soccer and anybody who was interested in soccer you know if they wanted to come to the meeting so I was uh, involved with the soccer club they talked about soccer about you know making a soccer field here so of course you know that was uh, what caught my attention and uh, I've been here ever since but the number one thing is education for children uh, pre-k through sixth grade we take pride in offering many different classes uh, free of charge to uh, all the youth on Saturday mornings, uh, from in the morning to 12, uh, and we're hoping not to expand uh, in the near future, but right now we're doing 8 a.m. to 12. And again, just, you know, what I do is just always in the best interest of the Armory, so I don't want to see who it's for. It's just, you know, I know it's for the community, so I, whatever I do for this place is based, you know, on that, you know, that I know it's something that's beneficial to this community. I was born and raised here in the city of Newburgh, so I do take pride, you know, and I take it very personally because I want this place to succeed and I want this community to keep having this place for many, many years to come so kids can enjoy it for many, many years. So I'm um, from here in Newburgh, an NFA graduate, and uh, went to Siena College after the fact, graduated in 2007 from NFA. Then I came back and was involved in youth work for about five years and working with um, kind of the person in need of supervision or PINs youth and uh, kind of ran into the armory and all the great things that were going on uh, and started volunteering and then uh, was offered a position uh, to be a part of the team. I'm fortunate that a lot of things led to another and just always trying to be around good people and to be on good teams and learning from leaders and kind of following their example um, has kind of kept me on a path that I feel like kind of everything I've been involved with from playing hockey to um, maybe living in Ecuador kind of all put me in a position to be in this place now. So currently my role is uh, title is assistant to the chairman of the board, but how I function is I primarily focus on being the primary coordinator for the Saturday morning program, the youth education program. I'm um, working with the teachers and the curriculum and coordinating the volunteers and then also doing the grant writing for the armory and of course being Assistant Minister Kaplan. I had some experience with grants before I got here, writing grants, but um, for the last two years here at the Armory, I've been really involved in writing uh, the grants for the Armory, for the kids' programs, and also for the building. I think that uh, I've been saying a lot to people lately is that um, it's yours, especially the kids. We want the children and families of Newburgh to know 
Armory. Yeah, the Newburgh Armory Unity Center is for everyone in the city of Newburgh school district, which is New Windsor, Newburgh, Town of Newburgh, and that it's for them, for their personal development, and that we want to know um, how we can help, and that we should all get together and do great things. I do honestly believe that Armory could be one of the more unique nonprofits in history, and I think that that's what Mr. Kaplan has created in the situation that he's created, and that the people, the great people's community have made possible. So where it could go is wherever the people of this community want it to go, which could be anywhere, and anywhere great. Um, so we have a great program registrar. Uh, her name is Deanna Bernal, and she's here during the week, and definitely on Saturdays. Our application form is online, and you could find it at newburgharmory.org and see the class you like, and then get connected with Deanna, whose contact information is on the website as well, and she'll be able to help you out. And uh, we hope that many people do. But yes, all the time I am talking about it because there's so many things happening, and there's so many good people, and there's so many kids to brag about, like the NFA volunteers, that uh, I end up do speaking about it a lot. Um, right now, we've done a couple of trips. Uh, I mean, I know the soccer team has gone probably to tournaments and stuff. Uh, the chess program, uh, here's one trip. We went to Chess Forum in New York City. So a small group of kids went to Chess Forum. And the chess program's gone about five or six trips. But as a group, we haven't done too many. I know Dr. Bixler, who does a reading program for Mott and St. Mary's, uh, they had their, it's called LEAP. Uh, the LEAP Literacy Program, and they went to Mount St. Mary's College to go listen to a guest speaker. So it's not something that's on the forefront of what we do, but we have done special trips, and you know, who knows what comes in the future. No, so that we just had that uh, new launch of like our new nursing lab, if you will, um, and program in the basement. That's taught by the great Linda Romano from NFA North, and on Saturday mornings we have a whole four hours worth of nursing classes. But that big launch last week was about all of these new nursing resources. Like, it looks like a hospital down there. Um, but the class itself is offered from kids from first grade to sixth grade. And there's a ton of people involved. St. Luke's Hospital, like I said, Linda Model from NFA North, and students from NFA North, um, and a uh, Bon Secours Hospital, Mary's College, Mount St. Mary's College. So a lot of people are being involved in making sure that Newburgh becomes a leading um, area in terms of like medical instruction. Yeah, throughout my life I've been, uh, I've always valued that experience because you, you get something out of it. When I, when I mentioned before, I lived in Ecuador, I volunteered at a, at a school um, and you know, I got a variety of different things out of it besides like, you know, learning a language, but um, I volunteered with like youth organizations for sports a lot and also through my church affiliations throughout my life, but it's something that's always been very important to me and uh, I think it's helpful for my role now is like just knowing how it feels to be a volunteer so that when you're managing and working with volunteers you know how it feels on the other end and like things that they want to feel and want to know and want to do. And that uh, the kids are the bosses, the families, the children and the families are the most important thing that we have here at the Armory and that uh, what they have Sure, we make the class and stuff like that, but unless they come, like their commitment to our organization so far has been what really has changed the armory and made it as big as it is, and that we really value them, and that we would love for them to be advocates to get more families involved. But I just think they're awesome, and I look forward to seeing them every Saturday morning.